very quiet at that time. It's like the whole universe is in sync. Yeah. But us, we have to keep doing stuff. We ain't got, <laughs> <laughs> got time to be in sync with the universe. You got to go over here, we got to be there, got to do that. Can you imagine what kind of power would come to you if we just be still for mm -hmm. five or ten minutes? Mm -hmm. The thing about the morning thing is everybody wake up anyway. But still, that bed feels so good, you got to turn over. <laughs> you got to get a few more minutes, that'll be all right. But if you just got up and just went to the restroom and walked around, you get tremendous yeah. power just by being awake at that time. Mm -hmm. You see? There's a rhythm to the madness of the universe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we introduced this fire to the people like that, we, you know, I went to Africa. They couldn't afford these things. So we taught them how to make them out of clay. It ain't about making no money. It's about saving the planet. So we say, you can do this out of clay. You see? And when you do that, I went to Bali, Indonesia. And in Indonesia, they, they made some out of clay. You see? And then how do you do this? When you have this pyramid like that, when it, we put the fire inside. When it reached 360 degrees, the combustion takes place. This combustion, when it takes, it create five gases. And one of them, no one has ever heard of because it comes from the Vegas. I think I was on Wikipedia. Yeah, I said, would you add that? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll add it sometime, but not right now. No. With this pyramid, first you have to make sure you know the time is. You know, it's got to be exactly at the time sunrise and exactly at the time sunset. The ingredients, I was really going to blow you away now. This is cow manure. <laughs> yeah. Cow manure, dried cow manure. Has no smell as we try. Mm. It's the leading substance on the plant to resist radioactivity. Okay, the cow is a tremendous, tremendous cow. That, you know, animal we don't know about. It's the only animal that has a solar band. It runs down in the back. You see, if you rub the back of it, if you have high blood pressure, it will go down. Wow. If you just take the hair from the cow and rub it, it will go down. It has tremendous. Even the science from the, uh, the Vedas, Ayurveda, it says the cow's breath purifies the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of this is there, you know, some of it is available in Texas, I said. The other you gotta sit. <laughs> they don't trust you until you sit long enough. But it's there. Just the breath. You get the purified atmosphere. Now what does this mean? Now this is loaded. <laughs> I mean, they're loaded. They've done so much stuff, uh, research on cow dung. Because it's the ash from this. The ash from this, you won't believe what it does. We make, we make medicines out of the ash once we burn it in this copper pyramid. What it does is, she's passing out now, it collects the cosmic energy and brings it back to this pyramid and disperses that energy like a one mile radius. So everything within a one mile radius is going to get healed. When we put the fire in it ignites, it goes up eight miles into the solar range, bring the energy back down to the copper part, thank you, and disperses it in a one mile radius. So within that one mile radius, everything starts to change and go back to its natural state. It holds it there. It holds it in natural state. On our place where we live, my son and I, where we live at, we are on 13 acres, and the atmosphere there changes. You know, most time when people come in here, they don't know what it is. And most of them look in the air and try to see what it is. But it's a purified atmosphere. If you can ever imagine what a purified atmosphere is. What it does to the crops is unbelievable. <laughs> you know, the pool there just change and be full of ghee and honey and milk and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the pool, that's what it tastes like. So we're talking about now moving into another area of how to do what we call homotherapy farming. Homo means purification by the agency of fire. Agni means fire. Agni Hotra means fire. Everything is based on the science. It has to be done at exactly the same time, exactly the same way. But we've done plenty of placebo effects where we didn't have the dung in there, we didn't have this in there, and didn't have that in there. It doesn't work. So what we do, 
Maybe we take the cow dung and this, I know you're familiar with the word ghee. This is ghee. We smear that on the cow dung. And exactly the time the sun rises and sunset, we light this little fire. And when we light that little fire, we say two Sanskrit words. Uh, morning we say Suryaya Swaha, Suryaya Idam Namama, Raja Pateye Swaha, Raja Pateye Idam Namama. So what you say to the universe, I want to be part of you, and I surrender to that part of you. <laughs> That's all you do, you sit there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did I say what I'm Mm -hmm. You say that, you have some grain rice. You put the rice in there, you say, Surya Swaha, you drop a little rice. Agna Yesama, drop some rice, and then you sit. Why rice? <laughs> Let me take the ghee for example. The ghee got a what? It's got about 101 different types of nutrients in there. And they can't even explain all of them. They can't <laughs> tell you what they all do. They just know they're good. <laughs> so you know, this is from the science. They know they're good. So that's why they kind of, well, it's good. You see? Then when you say the Sanskrit language, that vibration, increase the vibration. Remember I say this, that computer is based on that vibration. You see? It's a vibration that goes up and the vibration that comes down. They have something which is called the plasma sphere. You've heard of the plasma sphere? There's no. an area like stratosphere, lithosphere. There's an area called cosmosphere. Mm -hmm. You see? And they found out in that plasma sphere, there's plasma that up there. It's like the blood in the body. It's plasma. Mm -hmm. And then also there's a certain sound that comes from that area. Mm -hmm. And only humans can duplicate that sound by saying the Sanskrit language. You see? That's what's going on. That's the subtle part behind this whole creation. There's another level, another awareness that's there for you. All you gotta do is be still and listen. Be still and listen. When you do this, Agni Hotri, it puts that area that you sit in a place full of love. We've had people come to our place and just cry, just being in that atmosphere. Just being in that place where all that stress and all that craziness just disappeared, you don't know what it feels like. You don't know what it feels like, like and it's gone. So I've had some people come to our place, they start crying the more, they get off the road and start crying. I'm home. I say, nice, you're home, but please go home, you can visit. The <laughs> 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 whole, whole idea is take what we do and duplicate it in your space. <laughs> I don't want you to come and follow me. I want you to duplicate in your space and tell as many people as you can. The more people you have doing it, the more healing takes place here in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You have to put those nutrients back. Mm -hmm. That is why we are on this thing, the bump, the bump, bump, the weather, bump, the bump, bump, because nothing is being put back. Everything is put being taken. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to be caretakers. Mm -hmm. Take everything. Mm -hmm. yep. By doing that in Hotra, you get a chance to put nutrients back in the earth's atmosphere. This process says, you see, there it nourishes the soil, the water, everything. This process here, here's back then a nuclear explosion in, in the basement of the Fair Park. And the only place that was safe were where there were stacks of cow dung, and where people was doing this process of in Hotra. It neutralized it. You can take the most polluted water that there is. After you finish doing this, you can take the ash and do, put it in the water, and it'll change the water in three days. It will change it. Hmm. I've had experiments done at uh, Tuskegee University, Auburn University, to test that out. And some of the results of this, unbelievable. Unbelievable, they're still got you. So, you can see that the process is very simple. And these are some of the things that uh, we have information about it. This is a, <clears throat> a plant food that we took with the ash, and we made a plant food out of it. You see, we took the ash, put it in there. He does. <laughs> you stir up a little cow dung in there. He does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll go ahead and put the worms. The golden neck, you know, plants, you know, the worms, the mm -hmm. worms, earthworms. They are the true farmers. You can't grow nothing without them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have no earthworms. You can't grow nothing. This process of agriculture here, some 
one told me before, they did a study, they said, well, you, gotta, you guys got your own farm up under the what? Up under the power lines. You can't grow nothing. I said, really? Go out there and tell them worms out there, they're not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> this neutralized that uh, electromagnetic field, this fire neutralized. If a person does it long enough, he'll neutralize it, or she'll neutralize it. In the back of here, we have a study where it's a guy who's the little meters and tested the energy from that. And they found out that everybody up on it, that electromagnetic field, they did agriculture, they neutralized. So you become the fire. The energy that's in the fire becomes you. Mm -hmm. There's another part of you that you don't know how to touch. Mm -hmm. This gives you that power, that understanding of how to touch the inner you like it's never been touched before. Mm -hmm. There's so much to you that you're trying to find out. In a purified atmosphere, it becomes very simple. The planet has to be still. It has to be saved. Without it, you have nothing. What we bring forth to all mankind is a tool to teach you how to grow food better, how to protect your food, how to take a, for example, bumblebee. When they come into the atmosphere of this, they change. And they produce a certain kind of medicine that's very healing. Okay? When you do this agriculture, we call it the panacea for so many things. We take the ash, we take the ash, put them in the capsule, we take it for different challenges that we have. Make ointments and creams out of it, we use for different challenges that we have. You see, there's so many things that we do. So it's a very simple process that we wish to share with all mankind and how to do one particular thing as farmers. When you take this process of agriculture, what we do with home farming, you take the, <coughs> love this one. <laughs> We get cow urine, and we soak the seeds in the cow urine. Mm. <laughs> Once you soak the seeds in, you don't let it dry. You take it, and then you put it into the cow dung itself, and let it become damp. Then you plant your seed. Mm. You talk about some good eating. Those <laughs> 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 so plants become disease resistant. Mm. They grow Ooh. fast. They get bigger. They, the yield increase three hundred percent. You see, just by doing that. So that's the farming technique that we showed to people. Other part of that farming technique, we take something called a resonance. So we take a pyramid like this, say you got 200 acres or so. We'll put one of these in the middle of that 200 acres, put one north, east, south, and west corner. And you do the fire in the middle of the land, it shoots up vibration and put a bubble over your whole land. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is what he said. <laughs> She's in the thumb. She's in the thumb. <laughs> but it works. We got documentation, experiments to prove that it's working, that it is, it's been used all over the country. All you got to do if you all ever go on the internet and you see agriculture, you'll see so much stuff. So much stuff. You see. I'm one of the very few. I'm the first 30. I'm one of the first 30 that it was ever introduced to. It's, that it's about 29 of us now. We didn't know. But the years ago, it was 30 of us. And what you see, when we look at the internet, we're all in tears. Mm -hmm. Now you backpack, 30 years. So now the world knows we don't want nothing. You can't give me nothing. You can't give me anything. Only thing you can do is help protect the planet. Yep. That's all we need from you, is mm -hmm. to help save the mother. Mm -hmm. Without your help, there'll be nothing. You have to have a tool, and this is the tool that can do that, and it's free. It's free. You can make one of these out of clay. Mm -hmm. You see? In the old days, we had those you know, toilet bowl floats that were made out of copper, which you chop them babies in the air. <laughs> and do it with that. It works. Okay. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Please. Is it important, I'm sure it is, where you source your materials for your fire? Where do you, where do you source? You're not a cattle farmer, are you? Well, we, uh, we got 
cow, of course. So you're able to dry, press and dry your own manure? Yeah, we just press and dry. Sometimes we in the old days, we go out in the cow field, go in somebody's pasture. I go ask somebody, can I share with your stuff like that? Please take <laughs> it on your <board. laughs> And he's ready to give it to you. And the, and the rice? And the rice, you use brown rice. I use a wild brown, wild rice, brown rice, okay? And make sure the rice is not broken. Okay, so because the subtle energy is there. Mm. Oh. Okay, so energy. Mm -hmm. But we remember now, we're dealing with subtle energy. Mm. See, so you gotta start, if any foundation, you gotta start at the subtle part of it. You know, so you deal with southern energy, you can't be broken. Okay, mm. like that. And always oh. put the rice in there with the right hand. See, everybody right hand is healing. Did you know that? Mm. Yeah. Everybody right hand has healing power. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Now, see, I'm a healer. Everybody's healed. Mm. You just don't know how to develop it. You see? That's it. So when you use the right hand, you're putting the healing energy in there. Mm. You see? Now, when it comes to when the fire is burning, all it come together. It produces a propylene, ethylene, you see, like that, acetylene, formaldehyde, and here it comes, buto pio Got you. That comes out of the veins. It, it, it produces all those gases, and when they come together, they suck all the pollution out. Mm -hmm. You see, yes. Okay, so we kind of have. Um, well, we kind of. It's not easily accessible for you to get the pressed manure. How can you get it? Well, you know, I mean, you can look on the internet. You see so many people selling this. Oh, we sell okay. it, but a lot of people sell it. Okay. Oh, My okay. sons do this. This is a little patty cake, mm. patty cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 sure. Oh, you get it? No, no, no. You know, it's 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 dry. You just make sure ain't no mushrooms. Yep. <laughs> that, that's very real because I've had people do that. <laughs> and you said it burns um, within a one mile radius. What it does, when you when you put all the ingredients in there, okay, uh -huh. and you light it about five minutes before the actual time the sun is dry, the sun set. So we, we had to give out a chart, or you can go on a computer and fill out how, you know, what time the sun rises the sun sets. Get an app. So what exactly that time it says, the rise before the drop. I mean, you save the chance. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you sit. Mm -hmm. That's all you do. And watch the magic work. Mm -hmm. When this thing reaches 306 degrees inside, that's when all the magic happens. Uh -huh. All those gases come together. So would a backyard garden be too small for this? Oh, no. 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 I mean, just, anyway, just doing it around <laughs> your home. It'll change the environment yes. in your home. It'll change your affairs with your family in your home. <coughs> It'll change your whole home. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but we have started. Years ago, we started a daycare center. And the basis of that was this. And you should see the kids full of love. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Full of love. We started psycho, what? I mean, psychotherapy centers. And this has been the center. <laughs> we did parenting, all the parenting. You know, parenting, mm -hmm. the parenting skills, bring the family in. You see, you let them sit down, just do this. I've done that around Atlanta, different things like that. Just do this. It's hard to talk, talk, talk to people that ain't going to listen. Mm -hmm. You see, but if they have an experience, then they listen. Mm -hmm. And this gives them a, an experience. We got drug the addiction program based on this. 99% success rate. Drug the addiction program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How often do you have to do it? This? Mm -hmm. Me, this is my life. I do it twice a day, every day. Every day. The more you do it, Bigger that energy coming mm -hmm. and more affects everybody. Yeah, we got to do this. <laughs> I, want, I, want I mean, the planet has been declared what? It's been declared a stress epidemic on this planet so many times. The United Nations says it's an epidemic, stress. Nobody has to tell you. You know it's stress. You see everybody frowning like their feet, you know, shoes too tight. You know, nobody <laughs> speaks. <laughs> they don't speak like they used to. You see everybody scared to do that. We so need to be about love. Okay. So you can buy the whole kit, right? Yeah, you can buy the whole kit. You know, we, we have the whole kit. We can buy the whole kit. Okay. But you can go on the internet and buy it. I don't care who you buy it from. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not, it's just do it. Mm -hmm. We need to save the planet. Yeah. 
And we need to do it quick. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just that way. Yes. Two questions. Yeah. Two questions. What's What's your um, website where you could purchase that? Do you yeah. have a website or? Yeah, we have a website. Our website is something uh, institute. Uh, right. Put it on the board. Put it on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Is it on there? And then my second question is, is if you didn't have the, um, if you didn't want to make this a part of your everyday routine where you're doing it mornings and night every day, is could you do it at a different time of day if you felt like you mm -hmm. So it has to be at those oh, times no, you're going to do it. Okay. The rest of these are sunrise and sunset. Sunrise and sunset. And if you just did it one day, is it going to make an impact? Are you going to have some residual? Yeah, you don't feel Normally, it. Normally, if you know this sunrise, say, for example, you know this sunset, okay, that effect lasts for 12 hours. Your whole aura would change in the last of your okay. If you do it again at sunrise, now you got another, what, 12 hours. Okay. You got me? Yes. That's how it goes. And if you had to cure in photography, if you looked at a person curing in photography, you can see the aura and you can see the leakages that's in your aura. Mm -hmm. When you do this, there's no leakages. Mm -hmm. There's no leakages. You hold all the power away inside. You know, that's what we're trying to do. We let so much go outside. Mm -hmm. If you hold that inside, then you can understand better inside of yourself. You know the cliche? You can't change a lot of things outside of you. But you can't change the way you perceive it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> no one wants to know, what is she doing now? <laughs> <laughs> Tell your name was this. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. Nassau said, it's over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got to get they that. say it's over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 If you think I'm kidding, look in this book. They will tell you right now, it's done. And there's nothing we can do about it. You know what President Obama said? We are behind the eight ball. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. This is serious business. We are behind the eight ball and there's no solution for it. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So I told you, if the cow done would do it, I would do it. Give it to me. <laughs> if I have to smear it on me, smear it on me. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't gonna be no planet. <laughs> you have these people have to take this seriously. Yeah. Because they are. You don't think they are really looking their stuff. And they tell you how they plan to get away from this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave you right here. Mm -hmm. They look on your face. Mm -hmm. This is real. Mm -hmm. The planet is gone. They don't have a solution. I talked with them before the trip, and I told them a lot of things. They wonder how the heck you find out. A little bird told me. <laughs> but they can't tell the mass of people because they know. Yeah. They know that you're going to have problems. Please look at NASA and see what you can find out. Okay. I've got one more question. One more question. Is it okay to still burn sage or incense once you, or is that? No, yeah, you know, I mean, this is not, <coughs> what we say is say this and it's incorporated into that. Yeah, okay. That's it all. Keep, keep on doing what you do, just put that in. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, uh, on my time. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it inside or outside. Who works to do it? This no, inside? You can do it inside and outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You did it with bio energy. Bio energy has no boundaries. <laughs> okay. It has no boundaries. No one has smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be <laughs> covered? Yes. It's a recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'd like to thank Mr. Yeah. Street Charles, everybody. <laughs> Get this stuff. Oh. <laughs>